So we move on now to question two. And again, the first thing we would do well to remember is that it is locked in place. It's uh, uh, always going to be on analyzing and linking the presentational devices. It's always going to be eight marks, which means we need to spend 10 to 12 minutes on it of the allotted time that we have. Remember again, as you're going through that uh, with the piece that you're presenting the examiner, uh, for a C, they're saying to you, I can clearly see you understand the analysis needed and the links needed to be made to the presentation. But for an A, they need to be able to think, I clearly see you can pick out the details within that and the depth. And as we said in the last video, the detailing is very important. It's not just picking out the car, but it's picking out all the different elements that uh, contribute to the styling of the car and the um, blemishes on the car and the aftermarket additions to the car etc you need to pick out all of that so we look at the questions here then and we see again what's uh, similar just so we can back up and, and, and be reassured that this is the kind of thing uh, sorry back up what, what, I'm, what we're saying and also be reassured that what will come in the exam will look a lot like this so what we need to do is we need to explain how something is effective and how it links to the text so we've got two very distinct parts there explain how something is effective or a series of things that are effective and how they link to the text so in this first example we have three and in the second example we have two that's clear enough we're always going to write four to six points with evidence or a reference to the uh, pictures or something that we can't quite you know something that isn't in a, a body of text that we can put straight into a quotation and it's important to remember that the marks should be spread so we shouldn't try and just write six points about <coughs> excuse me we shouldn't just try and write six points about this and then write nothing about how they link to the text because we wouldn't get the six marks there whatever you do try and make it balanced so for this question I'll definitely try and do three of these points and then three of these points so when I say here that you're writing four to six points it's either two and two or three and three and I'll actually add that here just so we bear that in mind two two and two or three and three and that's the that's the minimum that I'd recommend to to get that across so if you're actually saying um, for the for that's the minimum uh, I'll repeat that again that's the minimum so if you're saying the headline of the picture so you might want to do two pieces of the headline one for the picture or one for the headline two for the picture and then in each one to discuss how they are linked to the text and why they're relevant so what we're looking for is we're looking at the presentational devices and the layout so where it is on the page and what we see on the page that isn't um, text uh, sorry that isn't text of the of the main piece so we could be looking at the font and the color is the font used the colors used the placement the actual picture the background any um, puffs or, or insets or inlays that are actually on the piece logos etc um, we're looking at captions we're looking at puffs and what we need to do is we have to comment on how the pictures are relevant to the text and that's the most important so you're, you're seeing something uh, on the page that actually links to what you read so it's being reinforced and you need to say what that reinforcement is so in our example for this we'll look at this because we know that we must link everything so I'm imagining again and I'm imagining sorry I'm using this example an imaginary article on violence I don't sit and imagine um, articles on violence so we've got this article on violence and we imagine in the picture that we've got a shadowy figure so what we could say is that it links to the keyword in the title and it shows danger which is what the character in the article was in okay so they were in a situation where they were in danger and it's stressed to us by the shadowy figure coming out etc so my basic element there that's a very basic version that's enough for a C for uh, this this ethics explanation here I picked it out and I've actually linked it to the text and that's what you need to do so I'll give you another example as well a slightly more slightly more uh, complex just because I'm actually picking out a literary term as well the alliteration in knife night makes it more memorable sorry I shouldn't actually have 
a comma there, um, alliteration in knife night makes it more memorable and both words have negative associations as expanded upon when the attack happens in the text. Also the title draws the reader, so that should be a full stop, punctuation went to bed there, I'll read that again. Alliteration in knife night makes it memorable and both words have negative associations expanded upon when the attack happens in the text. Also, the title draws the reader, the reader in, etc. So there we've got a couple of points. It's a little better than the first one, so you can see the link being made. Now, for higher grades, what we want to do is we want to actually kind of get multiple meanings to try and show that depth. Because remember, as a base idea and understanding, we're looking at the details and depth, which we can go to for an A. And in the mark scheme, I believe this is put as a per perceptive a response is perceptive. It really can kind of sum the, the details and depth of something up. So we look at a slightly higher grade um, idea here to give us the multi multiple meanings. So imagining in the picture that there's a knife kind of pointed at the reader, if, you, if you'll imagine that, if you will. So the shadowy figure has uh, is holding a knife and it's being pointed at the reader, so it almost looks like it's coming off the page. The knife is pointed at the reader, emphasizing the gravity of the personal account, so that's one thing, and shows this is an issue the reader can't get away from as this is a growing culture across London. That's two. It also puts the reader in the main character's shoes, uh, the main or the retailer of the account's shoes. So that's fair enough, you know, it's, it's quite detailed. The second point here is, uh, sorry, or even the third point, they're slightly higher level. Uh, analysis you'd have to th you really have to think about that because the basic one is the basic one was here oh we've got this shadow shadowy figure and that's dangerous etc but you know highlighting these things here is a lot more detailed and perceptive than that first one so if you read over them if you pause it and read over them again you'll see you'll see the difference so that's really how we go about answering that you just remember the key points again you analyze and link the presentation of the pictures etc to the text make sure that you're always looking to link in the way you respond so you're only going to get full marks if you comment on both sections how it's effective and how it links to the text so make sure you you do that and lastly for higher grades look at the multiple meanings that you can derive from something